for the new TI season. Dire team ban. Following China number one, they just um, finished a tense quarterfinal. They're back into the semi-final versing what's this team called? Huiwi Guo Qiu. I don't know how I said it. But good on him, hey. Good on him. Can we look at the bracket? Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Last game they had a bit of a bit of Viper, a bit of Nyx. Chris the Maiden, pick. who's Really high value pick at the moment, it seems. Most picked in Kiev. Um, but the good old juggernaut laying it down from Bilston. Ten seconds Viper remaining. From Prawny. Uh, this this, oh, this remaining. Terrorblade went absolutely off jobs. He's kind of solo carrying his team, it feels Reserve like. Reserve time. But yeah. Of draft starting up now. Crystal made and picked up straight up Dyer to the again. Picked. They have banned out the Magnus and the Centaur. I think Magnus was. I didn't see the end results, but he was close to being the top banned um, pick from the Kiev Major. Slider being banned out Ten by seconds um, remaining. this other team, as well as Earth Spirit. I don't think there's. Five seconds remaining. Many Earth Spirit players out of this slot, but. Uh, he is a strong Roma, Reserve so time. it's understandable that they want to ban that one out. They open with the Ogre May guy. He's, he's very situational these days. You see him every now and then, rather than being spam picked like he used to a while back. Um, obviously, you're looking to pair him with a couple of scaling cores to really make use of that bloodlust going into the late game. Crystal Maiden is just a, I mean, she's so squishy, so it's always an interesting, well, they've gone to Pudge again. Last game, we had um, the real pick. fresh prints on the Crystal Maiden and China there on the Pudge. Seems like they liked that little roaming combo. I mean, it's good. You got Frostbite into hook early game or double slows as well if you're remaining. using Pudge as a roamer. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. So they obviously thought their um, support duo was a good Dyer last team game. Ban. Alina picked up from the uh, from the radiant team. Radiant um, team ban. Usually being played as a as a mid core at the moment, especially with that respawn. Reduction talent. Um, she Dyer can actually back. benefit from blood loss as well. Kind of just pumps up her fiery soul even more. And with Lena's like kind of ridiculous attack range, you can really make things happen. Ten she, seconds she's a very remaining. aggressive hero overall. She doesn't work as well on the um, defensive. Like a lot of her spells Radiant work good if back. you get the jump on the. And then enemy team. So we have a Monkey King band out from Dyer. Looks like Bilston is drafting for them tonight. Monkey King band out. He can just be annoying to deal with. He, he, he is strong, remaining. but at the Kiev Major, he had a really abysmal win rate. Really Five abysmal win rate. Remaining. Um, if, he, if he has a good early game, he can scale really, really Reserve well. But, time. Um, didn't really work out that well. Unless it's um, unless it's Bobica, Dyer Bobica team was pick. destroying lives with him. They have banned out the drought as well, so I suppose they were worried about. Oh, a life stealer! Radiant team pick. Life stealer hasn't been in the meta as much as he was. He's always always has to worry about kiting. And when you're versing an ogre may guy with blood with bloodlust, helping people kite him around. Um, Ten seconds remaining. It's a bit more of a Five bit more of a scary pick, but if he has the proper delivery system, 
and that rage always helps time. against people like Lena and Ogamago. So we'll see how that works out for him. As long as Lifesteal always looks to keep the tempo up and bring the pain down on them. Uh, he should be alright. In this latest update they've changed a few different things in the Dota Spectator client. Which is kind of cool. It gives us a, it's a bit of a net worth graph up the top here all the time. So just under where the um, kills are. Spirit Breaker, interesting. Pick. I think a Spirit Breaker would also benefit from, from Bloodlust early. Not only does his does his bash get stronger from it, but also just to keep the aggressive nature. Ten seconds pumping. remaining. <sighs> we usually see Spirit Breaker Five as a support remaining. these days. Oh, a puck. Radiant team pick. Bit of a prawny special. This puck, I think he, he does quite well on the puck, and uh, it, it's a good, it's a really good tempo controller, and. Um, I'm not sure how the mid matchup Puck and Lena goes. Oh, Nyx Assassin, yuck. Dire team bad. I feel sad for Chris the Maiden now. It's not going to be pleasant anymore. And also, should be able to get good carapaces on the old pudgy rot. But, uh, but life still is good against Nyx Assassin. I mean, Nyx Assassin. Five seconds remaining. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that Nyx is going to be the offlaner. And the Spirit Breaker Reserve will be time. maybe a four position. Ogamega I five. Lena mid. And then they just depends how they're gonna how they're gonna round out Radiant their draft. Ban. I'm almost half feeling a troll warlord because a lot of a lot of these people on the Radiant team really use extra attack speed and just that extra push as well will be able to Capitalize off remaining. the chaos that a Spirit Breaker and Nyx Assassin can really make. Five seconds It'll be interesting remaining. to see where they go. Uh, it looks like we want an offlaner on our die side. Reserve Not time. sure which way they're going to go. Webster was playing the offlane last game. Um, and he is partial to the old Nyx Assassin. So it would be interesting to see which way he goes with this one. Uh, Against the Nyx Assassin. Well, they've Radiant banned out the Terrorblade. Terrorblade does seem to be the carrier of choice for some people at the moment. I know OG played it a lot at the at the Major. Well, they've actually banned out the Alchemist from the Radiant, so they might be Ten feeling that puck is remaining. Offlane, but it definitely, I definitely think it's going to be the mid. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Be interesting to see where this. Um, they've gone the Clinks. Interesting. Dire team pick. Clinks is uh, one hell of a pusher. Has a lot of pickoff potential. Just a lot of damage potential as well. Uh, does he, his searing arrows? They don't. Oh, they do Ten pierce seconds for immunity. Remaining. Oh, okay. I was half thinking for a second, the last still about to just Five tank seconds it, but, remaining. Uh, mm. A good clinks is always scary to play against. Reserve so time. I think we're going to be watching to see how this guy goes. But he's very, he's very elusive. The old clinks can usually get into a good position. But uh, the, the, that puck could um, slow him down with Dream Coil. Uh, I feel like, I mean, the slider has been banned. They really need another delivery system for Life Stealer. So that's probably what they're looking for with their maybe a Legion. Maybe they go. User Legion joined your channel. Hey, you going there? Hey, you going mitten? Hey, ready? I'm just watching um, them play. If you're keen. Have you got it up on stream? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. I just got the That's draft sweet. finishing off now. I'm, I'm not sure where they're going to go with their offlaner. Oh, face is void. Yeah, okay. Just uh, 
shut that clinks down. Though they don't have much um, uh, range carry to really capitalize on the chrono properly, in my opinion. Are you, you watching the game? <clears throat> yeah, I just I just tuned in. I just got kicked out of seven div. Feels bad, man. Oh, yep, yep, yep. The, I, I caught a bit of their last game and it was a pretty heavy game that I saw I, I don't know um, I, I like the idea of Void in this team but like the lineup doesn't seem to be able to capitalise on it unless Chris Maiden gets a good kind of ult in there or something mm, I think it could be good it's, it's situational but I think there probably is a better hero in the pool to pick than Void and I don't think Will is very suited to Void okay Sure. Uh, I don't really see Will play him often. No. Well, I, I think a, like a while back, he played it a little bit. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I was toying around with the idea of Legion Commander with their draft because I felt like like Lifestealer needed a delivery system as well. And I think I think they went Void just so they could chrono Prepare certain targets. But battle. if you're dueling them anyway, it's kind of the same diff. Yeah. Uh, not not too I'm uh, not too sure we'll see we'll see how they go. Yep. Um I was also talking about the life stealer like I feel like he's he's coming a bit out of favor like he's still strong but he just has a lot of kite like he can get kited a lot. Yeah, I, I felt with like the bloodlust maybe that could be a real well actually smoking up already going for a big play trying to I think Crystal Mayne's going to really struggle with this game. <laughs> like so many things for it for oh. oh he holds off the impale they get the ignite and they get the impale it's an easy kill on the first oh, hero's down bad man i think that's going to be the story of this man this match don't you think did you mean to do that yeah she won't get any very good ulties off of playing us next unfortunately yeah that's true yeah and that's do exceptionally well to get that farm for sure and Spirit Breaker 2 at any point is just going to be like, oh yeah, I feel like killing you now, so... But uh, Webster and China have gone aggressive on the bottom lane after they saw that movement up top. Which is a yep. good thing to do. The battle begins. Time is money, are You see the changes they've made on this kind of like spectator screen here? They've got like the net worth advantage up the top. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I think because like a lot of people say that obviously the kill count's not always the biggest, the best indicator of like who's winning or whatever. I don't think gold is either. Like you can still be ahead or behind on gold, but you know when you, you lose like two team fights in a row, you still might be 10k ahead, but mm. there's a massive invention shift in the game. Sure. And certain heroes have a bigger value of... of for currency than others. For sure. Mm. Uh, I've, I've been, been paying out this the, the old prawny a bit too. <laughs> he's, he's just fun to pay out this lad. Oh, I, I played I played with him before, and he was playing Invoker, and he he did this sun strike, and it landed about a screen away from the jewel. So the LC was coordinating <laughs> the jewel, and he and he missed it by about a screen. Oh, it's hurtful. Yeah. I think I think the the build for lifestyle of this game is definitely a minus armor build. You can you'd be able to destroy a Nex within a rage if you got went the whole minus armor build. Sure. So um, just get as much burst as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think I think like they've got a lot of mobile people on the radiant side, and I feel Try that build is going to be running after people, especially with like, the bloodlust helping out. I think that might yeah. be a bit of an issue this game. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on Prawn because I I think a lot of how this tempo of the game is going to go is whether Lena gets a good good mid lane or not. Sure. Like if if you've got a really strong Lena, that can just like that can that can destroy Life Stealer, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Get a Yule's in a blink and Life Stealer really can't touch you as a no. as a Lena. But it's, it's an interesting lie. game. It all comes down to execution, I think. Yeah, for sure. It's, it can it can kind of go either way. Uh, how do you feel about this this Clinks pick? I, I think like Clinks is always strong. Um, we just had a we just had a Clinks in our game in tier seven, and 
I was against a Treant and a Abaddon, and they oh, lost the lane in on this Nyx up top, and a good hook from China. Going to bring him back towards the tower. He gets a nice impale. I don't think he's going to get out, though. Oh, is he, though? Regeneration. Oh. Yeah, what a rascal. The old Nyx with the poor man's shield every time. Oh, we got a charge. He looks like he is charging in on mid on the prawn style. Is he going to... Oh, no, he doesn't yeah, get the face shift off, but he face shifts off the stun. I think he's... Well, oh, he actually goes to the other side of the river. Yeah. That's actually a cheeky play, but it's worked out well for him. Yeah, I think that definitely was the play. Yeah, well, well done by him there. China's coming in with the hook. Ah, oh, just geez. misses it. Just tickles the old Lena's rectum. Oh, Lena misses the stun as well. Prawny probably could have gone anywhere other than straight past the Lena to get back. But he's going to go find the shrine now. Going to use the old um, off laner's shrine. It's a bit of BM, but that's how it works. Is uh, Webster really needs it, but it, Prawny's already used it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll be happy. Um, I can imagine <laughs> words would be said. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, like, excuse me, mate. Oh, yeah. and uh, Pudge is getting um, charged in mid now. This Spirit Break is yeah, kind of going... It's a bit too deep. Yeah, he's... he's got the Arcane Aura, so he might be able to get a hook off, but he doesn't have... Uh, oh, he does have a firing up. Um, he's got that damn creep in front of him. He's got a, yeah, he's got a, he's got a charge in one oh, second. He does get the hook. Him. He does have a charge down. He gets frost, frostbitten. He's going to be able to charge. No, he's got no mana anymore. He TPs out. I didn't even realize he was TPing. Oh, <laughs> what a baller. Yeah. I think with that new, like the new Crystal Man and Frostbite effect that people have with the Snowman, kind of like I was confused what that was for a long time. I didn't even notice it. I just saw the TP on Spirit Break and that's all I was focusing on. I'll have to look at... Oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, <laughs> they just turned into a snowman, so it didn't even... Yeah. Didn't even occur to me. Oh, good old Webster. Come in handy. He's bringing out an iron branch and a headdress. So Radiant's he's got the headdress middle out tower now. Is under attack. Doesn't have the boots to shoot. Up top, there's a bit of a brawl happening. Pudge is rotting away, trying to slow people down. Spirit Break is just tanking through all of that. Um, Chris Maynard just got a freeze just then. Is he, He's going to get the, the Spirit Breaker in time. Spirit Breaker does have a charge out now, but Nyx is kind of hanging around, has an impale. Might be able to get both of them. Doesn't have Carapace in the moment. Bloodlust, I mean, sorry, Ogre Mega has come up top now. Only has the Elba Venom, so he's still be in that poor five position. Uh, Pudge is hanging around, has the hook ready. No, I think they're backing off now. Prawny's getting um, charged in mid now. He's just used his phase shift. Has the DD in the bottle. Oh, he has phase shift in one second. He's not going to get it in time, but oh, oh, he, oh, yeah, he's Let dead. The world end now. Spirit Breaker. It he's going balls to the wall, but he's, he's making it happen. We look at bottom lane now. Will's just really starting getting harassed by those searing arrows. They just mm. hit level five, so he's not going to be able to land at all against Ouch. against this. I mean, uh, when they picked the void, I, for some reason I thought they were playing it as a safe lane void, but sure. um, this off lane void is really not working. Actually, Will used to play off lane void a fair bit a couple of patches ago, but then it yeah. sort of phased out. Mm. I think, I think. It, it just feels like Void's solo kill potential is just not there at the moment. He is getting charged, does not have Shrine. Let's see, oh, he gets hit, does he get another stun? He's going to jump away, it's going to be all fine. Yeah, it doesn't feel like Void has much solo kill potential anymore. I think that's why he's really coming to favor. Is money. From what I can tell, and just... So when, when I saw they didn't have much kind of like... Dyer's range potential is under attack. in their draft to use the chrono I like I'm not really feeling it very hard but you know he could surprise us more than happy for him well they actually get a kill on the oh, leaner in mid nice. it's a two man rotate with the DD puck gets an easy little kill on the leaner let's have a look at the net worth now Clinks is up the top there Dyer's life still is not too far behind leaner and puck So we've got a slight gold advantage going Dyer's towards the Radiant at the moment. Attack. But um, it's, it's kind of kind of pretty even. H who do you think benefits from a, an even laning stage out of these two teams, Mittens? Oh, Definitely the Dyer. Mm. 
Yeah, Nix is getting gone on. He's using his spike carapace to its full potential, but he's still going to go down with that rut. Also on mid, Will picks up the spirit break in the dive for the tier 2, so that was quite a nice play for Prawn to get away and good rotation from Will. Nice. Yeah, when you're having a bad time, you got to find your net worth somewhere. A well-timed gank can really salvage a bad laning stage. But, uh, oh, Crystal Maiden kind of hanging around on the bot lane. Just waiting for Clinks to... Nah, he's backing out smartly. Bilston going the um, armlet on the lifesteal. I feel like he doesn't usually go armlet. I don't know. I'm like really bad with armlet toggling, so I like don't usually go it. That's one of my big weaknesses as a player. Radiant's Bilston. middle tower is under attack. Nick's just kind of doing some harassing on him. Oh, Mr. Mr. Deny Bilston, how do you feel? How do you feel? So we have the Lena starting to jungle over here on the Radiant. So the mid's kind of been left alone at the moment for the old Pucky Puck. Going straight for the blink dagger, doesn't want to get the treads or anything Money first. I don't really play Puck much. Do you think that's really the play? You, you do always want to get the treads first. Stay near. I'm not a Puck player at all. I've probably got in 10 years, 3 games on him, so... Sure. Yeah. Uh, Prawny does a big dream coil, uh, big dream coil on the um, Spirit Breaker charging pass for no reason. And, uh, gets about 0 out of it. I think he was just trying to annoy him. The Nyx is now on the prowl, has the Vendetta, he's heading towards mid. Might be going for the old prawn stuff. Oh, down bot. I oh, know. I thought something was happening, I saw a lot of commotion. Nyx has been a bit of a sneaky lad in mid. Not Lots sure. of uh, pings coming out at, at bottom, but it uh, looks like they're going to go back to mid on prawn. Mm, he's getting Ooh, nice charged, dodge. he's already used his... Oh, he dodged something, did he? He just used his phase shift. Oh, the really good carapace from the Nyx, that was really well done. That's really Dyer's well played. I tell you what, this attack. script break is really working out for them. They're coordinating really well. Down bot. Webster's kind of staying in lane a little bit now. Clinks is hanging around. Pudge is there as well. Not sure how this can go down. If, if they get the jump on Clinks, I think they can do a lot of damage. Oh, Spirit Breaker and Vendetta. I mean, Nyx are coming in. <laughs> I keep calling them by their ulties. Oh, and Pudge. Feels bad, man. Hell. Webster's got his jump out. Does have Chrono as well. There's four people there. Nice jump out. Uh, missed, um, that's a good dream call. Gets three people in there to slow them down, but I think... Webster's going to stay out of it, or is he going to go for the chrono? Oh, it's tempting. He goes for like the chrono. But are they going to have to capitalize on that? Prawny does get in there, gets a good silence. Almost tries to kill one person, does get the Yoga May guy. Clinks is absolutely destroying Pudge again. Oh, my goodness. Puck needs to get in. Oh, he does an aggressive orb, but um, doesn't go in. Too hard, though. Webster... I mean, they got something out of that crown. Radiant's top tower. It's kind of yeah, underwhelming. I mean, the, 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 the pudge, the pudge TP'd in just as he chronoed, which it looked promising, and then he hooked Webster as he leaped away with his time walk. Oh. Hurts. I didn't see that bit. A prize. I just feel like it was, it was, it was a really good coil, it was a really good chrono, but they just Gold didn't have anything to capitalize on it, and it was really hurtful to me to see this spirit breaker man. Just charging people left and right. He's heading in on mid. I don't think he's going to commit to this one, or maybe he's just going to harass. Bilston's still keeping up there. He's second highest net worth, just behind the clinks. Mm. And they're only after... It feels like they had a really rough start, but there's only 1k behind. So sure. all in all, it's not too bad from this laning phase. I'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, for sure. Dyer's middle tower is under uh, attack. I feel like um, the, the mid game of Radiant is really, really strong. Like you got you, yeah, yeah. It's just going to be really brawly. I think they're going to look to just take a lot of objectives. Puck gets pulled out by China. Well done. He is getting charged. I think he's going to bail. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. They've got a lot of push. Radiant's they've bottom tower is under attack. Plenty of brawliness. Radiant going to get, keep pushing this. I think. Uh, Ogre May guy is going to get a ward out. I think. Clink's going to start eating their jungle. They're going to charge Bilson up top. I don't know how much kill potential they have. Orange is coming across as well. 
Got someone coming in to help. Good old Pudgy Pudge. Does TP out. Bilston knew what was happening. Rage TP's out. Clinks almost takes out the Crystal Maiden in mid. Man, just so many people in the Radiant team. Like, I'm pretty sure anyone in the Radiant team that finds Crystal Maiden can solve it. Regeneration. That's what it feels She's like. To having me. a nil impact at the moment. She would have had a better impact if she just sat in the jungle, farming constantly, and not really helping the team. Just mm. getting a Midas, so she could actually be relevant. Mm. She can't. She's not even. Yeah, she's not level six, and they have an experience so term. I don't think they do. Bottom tower no. is under attack. Feels pretty bad. The um, the crystal maiden pick was valued highly at Kiev Major. I think he got most picks in the end. Um, Just picked up the experience time and used it then. Oh, yep. So, not quite that six, but um, we'll get there soon. Nyx is on her tail, though. Oh, oh, no. Seems to juke without realizing he was juking. Nyx is heading back towards Crystal Main. I think she's been found. She's. I don't know. No, she doesn't know he's there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. No! Bottom tower also, Pudge is level 5, and there are a couple of heroes that are just really missing Dyer's out on those key skills. Mm. I think the biggest difference uh, right now is experience rather than gold. Actually, no, well, they're leading by 3k in gold and oh. half k, but it feels like a lot different. For sure. I think Lena's definitely the quiet achiever from this start. She's going to have her bloodstone soon and oh, wow. her farm will increase exponentially. Yeah, I think in. Oh, no, they got, they got Prawny again. Feels bad. How, how, how's he going That's right now? 1 3. Oh. It's not go looking good overall. Yeah, I, I don't really feel like they have anything to deal with, like, the aggression too much either. Oh, Webster does have the chrono. Lifestealer pops out. And, yeah, there's... Oh, he does get a Crystal Maiden ult off. Are they going to be able to kill the, uh, the clinks? They are. Webster, I'm not sure if he's going to jump forward aggressively. The Bloodlust is going to help him get out of there. And Bilston is going to keep having this problem, I think. Not being able to run people down. Oh, he does get the um, Ogre Mag Eye, a bit of juking happening. Pudge, actually, Nyx is coming in as well. Oh, he misses the hook. The carapace actually ruins Pudge's career. <laughs> oh, they actually get three out of that. The Pudge keeps going down for the team though. What, what, what a baller. Bilston doesn't have rage, has rage now. With his, um, oh, he wants to go in. No, he's bailing. He, he sees the writing on the wall. Webster's really, really low. Bilston's low after arm loading off. Definitely a nice exchange for uh, the die there. And for sure. Will's now picked up his Midas, mm -hmm. so hopefully they'll get his GPM a bit, a bit. If he gets to the point where he can solo kill people, I think I think that's pretty all over. But that's a while away. Like you need like maybe Manta Diffusal at least. But then he'll be a real problem for people Dyer's like Clinks and Nyx. Is under attack. Yeah. So Will's getting charged now. I'm gonna Clinks closing in him as well. Yo. Uh, nice. Yeah, because the ogre did put this ward here just Dyer's before. After they attack. took the tier one, that was smart warding by him. With all these gank Enjoy heroes, I mean, oh, oh, he does get the time time lock walk out. Yeah, he's gonna bail. I threw a hook there. I think that would have been another kill. Mm. Gold for me. So he is pinging out the um, ward there, William. He's like, they warded. The jungle's warded. <laughs> Oh, he's boarded in the wrong spot. Oh, well. Yeah. Although, with, with, with such a gank-heavy lineup on Radiant, they really need to get that under control. A prize. So. Time is money. Webs are closing in on that. Vlad's now. Actually, no, he's still a while off. Clinks has been pinged out. They know he went invisible in the area. We do have Chrono up. Oh, he's TPing down to Shrine. Did he see... S no, oh, he's going with the smoke play, but there's no one down bot for him to find. 
Up top, Bilson is being charged. Clanks and, and Nyx are invised close to him. Uh, that's Rich another thing. Break. Spirit Break is like all this stuff goes through BKB. So, Bilston. And Bilston gets to the creep. Oh, he, he does get in there. Well, he does get a good hook onto the Clinks. They're actually going to take the Clinks out. But the Pudge once again goes down. Feels bad, man. Prawny's going to go down now. With all these people. Or oh, Pops Illusion Rune. Will they be confused enough blank. for him to get away? Oh! Yeah, oh, that's not enough. Gets in there. But, um, they decide to get a trade out. Down. The, um... Crystal Maiden right clicking away at that tower. Yeah, oh yeah, Bilson goes down yeah, over here. That's a shame. Are fortified. Very even trade though for the amount of kills that they had. Sure. Dyer's top tower the uh, is net worth attack. is slowly creeping away from them though. Now to 4k net worth lead. Dyer's top tower I just noticed spawned. before too, just next to the mini map on the bottom left, there's a Rosh timer. Like when he's down, it's like uh, yeah. he can be, he'll be up in this time or whatever, kind of. That's cool. Yeah, couple of little, cute little things they updated. Was there was yeah. was there like an actual patch or was it just the compendium coming out? I didn't I actually. It was just a compendium. I didn't see any patch notes of. Um... Yeah. No, there would have been patch notes on it. I was meaning to look into that or they've got vision they, of this they don't know the next they get his hook. he's gonna go for the hook he does have the carapace up they're gonna wait it out oh the carapace oh, goes wow. down but he gets a really good impale he's hanging around is uh people coming in to help him spirit break is coming he's gonna ruin everyone's career and nix is almost gonna get out but gets frostbitten bilston is there to finish it off that's just lost hit spirit breaker does get out though does what he can for his friend but yeah i don't know if nix hanging around was the play Maybe he was feeling yeah, a bit overconfident. That's a very common warding spot as well, and he should have known straight away from Pudge's, like, his body language, I guess, or mm, his, the way he for played. Sure, for sure. Uh, Bilson's getting sized up on mid now. Clinks is close by. Does have the Desolator finished. Mm, Bilson's 500 gold away from his, and that'll be a big big power spike for him, I think. Mm. Be able to kill that Nyx very quickly. Mm. Oh, Crystal Man is being seen. He is being charged. I don't think he's going to commit, though. Uh, Spirit Break is going the old Shadow Blade build. He's, oh, no, no, he's backed out. Behold. Burger's doing a very good job at warding deep and getting away with it. Hmm, for sure. Maybe it's just a poor effort on Dyer's behalf of punishing it. Hmm. Oh, there's Clinks again. Oh, Bilson does get the rage off. It doesn't actually block any of the fire Sorry, arrows. Oh, they're going to get onto the Spirit Breaker. Bilson's going to keep bailing, though. A really good Krona gets to him. They hook the Clinks out, but they're able to isolate him. They're going to take out the Ogre as well. That's actually that a really good nice. Yeah, that was nice. That's a really good trade for them. That's probably a 2k gold swing. 1500. Yeah, well, it's, it's minus 585 and plus 1584. That's a good stuff. It's really good to see. Is under attack. So their um, the team fight really came together. Although, like the other team were th only had three, but even still, really well executed. That was a good chrono again by the old Will. They yeah, it was a beautiful position from the Crystal Man as well. That was that was probably the the best ulti of, of the game. Mm. Ah, fresh meat. Bit of haste rune on Lena as well, mm. so it'll be interesting if they see if they try and fight with a haste rune on Lena. She can't really stop her, Connor can't. Mm. She's, she's down, so... She's already walking faster than haste anyway. Yeah. That bloodlust and fiery soul and TP boots. Still has the old TP scroll for old time's sake. Do you think Aghanims is the right item for her, just to blood the lifesteal? On Lena? Yeah, yeah, I, re I, I reckon. Let's get Fresh oh, we get a Pudge hook onto the Spirit Breaker in mid. Does get the charge out. Only charges to close by. The Pudge is feeling like he's going to go in on it, but um, Lena's there to clean up. <laughs> Webster does not have the chrono. Oh, he needs to get out. There's a lot of people there. That's a really good two-band dream call. 
Gets the time dilation onto the Spirit Breaker. He's gonna jump back and jump onto this Clink. So the Spirit Breaker still hasn't died. Gets taken down by Will. Oh, he's gonna get blown up by the Lena because the next comes out as well with the Vendetta. They need to get out now. Unless Bilson feels like being a man. Does not have rage. Nyx is gonna keep bailing. Yeah, they need to bail now. Oh, Prawny. Doing his very Probably best. really fucked up there. He could have got away. <laughs> yeah. He's just too cocky. Oh, Bilson anyway, has, has rage again. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Smart plays. Has the rage back, so it feels like a man again. Doesn't have the open wounds. He's going to go around the trees. Chomp. He's going to keep getting kited. Oh, that's the really good. Let's see if the ogre gets it. By the Nyx. The Nyx is going to get killed. Oh, they do take him down before that, and now the Nyx is going to pay. Oh, oh no. bit of miscommunication, unfortunate. Endurance uh, and the pad is once again going to pay with his life. What is he on? Seven deaths at the Go moment. Feels bad, man. All in all, I think there was a decent trade. Still, they're hanging around that 4k in deficit, but Bilson's mm. getting stronger. Yeah. He's interestingly enough going for a heart now. I don't think that's the item to go for. I think it's just get as much damage out whilst you whilst you can with the rage up. Yeah, for sure. Lena picked um, the plus 50 damage instead of the minus 30 respawn time. She believes that she'll have enough bloodstone charges as this game continues. Interesting. I have heard uh, during the Kiev Major they 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 talked about that because some mail always goes fifty damage, Advise. not not respawn, because uh, like his champion's mindset air quotes is um you know he's not gonna die, but you know I don't really feel it. Yeah, I, I can see the mentality of it. I mean, you've always got the benefit of having plus 50 damage, but how often do you have the benefit of having the negative 30 second respawn time? Yeah. You, don't, you don't know when you're going to live or die. For so. sure. For a long time, I didn't really know how how to talent tree. Like, I, I was really up in the air about it, but one thing that helped me was to think, can you get this buff from an item, and are you going to go it? And then you just go the other one, pretty much. Oh, jeez. So, another two-man coil. Oh, misses the hook, unfortunately, on the TP and Ogre. He's going to get out. Pudge is going to get onto the Nyx. They're going to take him down. He gets smacked by the Lunar ult again, Bilston. Oh, he's got the Shadow Amulet, the Spirit Breaker, doing a cheeky play. Oh, they seem to know he's there. Did they have... Oh, they got wards around. Yeah, Prawny's going to run after him. He's going to charge away. Yeah, he's going to get away. Oh, the Chrono oh. just gets him on the very oh. edge. William Webster. I really want a question mark to come out after that, <laughs> but I don't think Will's going to do it. It was, it was a high-risk play for a moderate reward at best, but good on you. You got it. I, I think that it was a, it was a really good play. I mean, the team Dyer's fight's over. They don't need the Chronosphere anymore. Sure. Yeah, that's a good point. Yo, Clinks has the Dragon Lance now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Can't outrun uh, wildfire. You no, know, Lena haste. Yeah. Black life steal. She's got uh, Shadow Blade now. Oh, Webster has the time dilation. Bill doesn't know he's running into. That team oh, me. Feels bad, man. Uh, Pudge is now being charged now. Pudge once again gonna take on for the team. Oh, gets the denial. Not bad, not bad. Prawny's just doing puck things. He's closing in on his um, Yule Scepter now. Yeah, Will's going for the old Manta attack. on Void. Do you think that... Well, what's the... Um, is is Link's going to Orchid or something? Why, why is he getting Dyer's a Manta? Uh, I think... I'm pretty sure your illusions get time lock, so it kind of just makes you viable in Chrono. Because you can actually put out a lot more damage. As far as I can tell, that's the um. Oh, Bilson in, in the infested crystal maiden. The crystal maiden gets the frostbite on the charge. And they clean him up. <laughs> <laughs> that's just so ridiculous being infested in a crystal maiden. <laughs> I know. I was like really like, like that. Attack. The hell did he come from? But um. I mean, does she have a blink or something? No, she's. That's so weird. Like I can't even think of yeah. a way that that's. Like viable. This will come in handy. They do scan them out randomly. Maybe they're thinking the rush is going to happen now, converging now. But little do they know, they were just kind of walking past the rush pit. But they're like, they're rushing, guys, quick! 
Is he going to jump in a blind chrono? That'd be funny. Nah. Nah, they've figured it out. They're like, nah, not even. I'm backing out now. Delson changed his mind from going for hard and he went with, with a basher, which I think is a much better choice. Yeah, for sure. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Especially to... Because, yeah, a lot of them are so mobile. Like, the clinks can run away. Uh, Spirit Breaker can charge away. Lena can just run away. Once he gets the Abyssal, it's just like, ah, nah, I'm securing this kill. He is a bit of a fan of the old Basher, Bilston. It's a pretty solid item in most situations. Is Echo Saber still very popular in Life Steel? I know for a while there it was very good uh, with the Deso and the Basher. Mm, Seems I, to not be so popular now. Yeah, I, I, I don't really fully understand the thoughts behind it. But I feel that with Armlet and Rage, they kind of just, ah, uh, we've got enough. Kind of, oh, Pawnee goes in with the Infested Lifesteal, misses the Silence, gets one in the drink. Oh, excuse me, has to bail. Almost gets charged down. Lifesteal is inside him, though. So he doesn't have the Dream Coil, but he might look to re-engage on someone. Clinks is heading top. He's, get, he's getting close to his, another item now. What do you think Clinks would go next? I'd go an orchid against the lifestealer for sure. Sure, yeah. Get a blood thorn and the lifestealer is useless. Yeah. Maybe Will preemptively thought that. So he was going Manta. Sure. Oh! This is a nice yeah. play here. Yeah, that uh, really is. Luck. Crystal gets smacked. He gets the impale on the on the faces for it as well. Faces is going to go down. Oh, Bilston is there, but he's getting controlled up by the bashes. Lena's um, punching him out. The Pudge is going to give his life for the team as well. Again, he's going to go down. Bilston's going to bail. Has rage in three seconds. Prawny is standing on the sidelines for some reason. Rather than getting out, is he going to die? I'm going to say yes. Oh, these guys blink in one second. Oh, he's not able to get it out. You've killed the equivalent of the enemy town twice. Ron just keeps on hanging around for that little bit longer than what he needs to. For sure. I, I don't understand why. Radiance top tower is under attack. So, looks like Lifesteal's going for the AC next. Bottom tower I think, yeah, has um, Armor's going to do a lot against this team. I didn't hear if you mentioned it, but uh, Thelina's got an Orchid now. Oh, yep. What a savage. Yeah, it looks like she's going for the Bloodthorn as well. Is and Clinks is going on the BKB. Oh, sure, yep. So, uh, we're now a 10k gold lead on the Radiant. I think they're, uh, they'll are they be looking to roast soon. Smoke gank. Mm. Take high ground. So they, they've got a very easy high ground with Lena and Clinks. Mm. Um, but they don't need to group too close together, so... Chrono shouldn't really be a problem. So Lifestealer is in the puck. They're smoking up. Looks like they might find this Spirit Breaker, but he does have Shadow Blade. So they do pop the smoke. They're pinging it out. They don't know where he is. They've seen... They don't even know, know where he's gone. Prawny's hanging around with the life stealer inside of him. They are heading towards Roche now. Illusion. Yeah, they're going in now. Not sure if they know what's happening. Yeah, Prawny's figured it out. Don't get caught, bro. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Nix is kind of hanging around. He's going to he's gonna go straight in. Gets a green coil on one. Oh, that's a good hook onto the Nix. The Nix does not have carapace. He's going to go down. Bilston's manning up, taking a few people down. Crystal Manning gets exploded by the Clinks. Bashed by the old Webster. Oh, he's going to get a lot of stuns onto his Clinks, but Clinks is really tanky with death pack at the moment. He's going to get taken out. Oh, he's physically impossible. By the Lena. I think, I think it's not looking good. I think... I think... Um, I'm thinking this is over. What's your thoughts? I think that uh, it puts a lot of responsibility on Will to... I, I just don't like the Void pick. I, I think yeah. any other offlaner could have could have been a lot better with just like a slider, blink, stun, force, stuff, get out. You know, you don't have to commit so much with the Chronosphere that, you know, they'll be licking their chop as soon as you whiff it or, you know, as soon as yeah, it's down, they'll be sure. pushing really hard against you. Yeah, definitely... Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, good hook. Guns get the clanks. Pops the BKB. And the 10 second BKB. Yeah, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Yeah. 
So, real fresh Prince goes in, gets a freeze onto the Spirit Breaker. He's going to be able to charge out really soon. Oh, the hook doesn't connect in time. Uh, he gets really low, but he's going to get out. Doesn't have any earned charges left. Uh, so, he almost has the Manta on the William. I wonder if he's going to go Defusal next. As I go. And now he's going for the Maelstrom. Gold for me. Death and uh, gold 22 charges, I and we have the finished Bloodthorn on the Lena as well. So, she, like, she's hitting pretty hard herself. She's hitting 270s in, in really quick succession. Point, yeah, that attack point, speed is nuts. Point, point 0.3 second attack speed. So, we've got another, let's call it a YOLO smoke from the Dire. I mean, if they do get a pick off, it'll be Not strong, but. Uh, like, this is definitely the play that they want to go with. They oh, don't yeah, want to be just sure. sitting back, you know. Any any kill at this point is a massive swing in the net worth. Mm. So they know someone's Even close. They just, they, they're going to get the ogre. Radiant's He's going to TP while he four staffs away. Attack. The chrono stops them. Very well done. Gets both of them. Yeah. Nix is there as well. He's going to jump straight onto Some the leader in the back of the line die. with his newly minted Manta. Nyx does not have carapace. He's going to go down. Spirit Breaker kind of rolls in. Clink's on the back line. He's going to start smashing him down. Lena keeps just picking people off with all that burst, man. Feels so bad. Webster's going to get out. He's just going to bow. Prawny. He's going to try and get out. Webster's kind of hanging around, but he really needs to get out. Oh, dude. You've killed the equivalent of the enemy team twice. Unfortunate that that Nyx rocked up and got the spark carapace off. It would have been good if they just got a clean cut, one or two kills and got out. Mm. Oh, it looks like we got a Dagon coming out from Puck now. He'll have it soon, but I don't think... There's no one really to Dyer's burst, middle tower really. Is under attack. Unless he's able to get Lena on the back line. Dyer's middle tower so I don't think has it's going to really turn anything in their favour. Dyer's middle barracks are under Lena's attack. Got 25 Dyer's middle charges. has fallen. Disgusting. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. I don't think they realise how strong they are right now. They, they could take three lanes of axe and yeah, quite easily. Yeah, especially with Chronosphere down. Clinks is going a scythe next. I suppose that's not too bad. He could just shut down anyone he wants, really. Selfish. You see a win condition in this game for them? Oh, I really don't. Like, unless unless they get like, like. It needs to be a three, at least a three man chronosphere on the the Nyx, the Clinks, and the Lena. Yeah. With a Crystal Maiden ult involved. Has <laughs> to the ring. Like, Immortality. I, I really feel that they need the Radiant team to split it up. That's that's their win condition. They were split up before when they did the last smoke gank. Yeah. And it's just, it wasn't that clean execution. That was the problem. Sure. <laughs> like, I know, I, yeah, I, just, I mean, I just feel that the Radiant, like, if they're smart, they just group up and just force fights. It's, has this Crystal Maiden been going? Two for eight. 3.11 on the pudge. I mean, do you... F yeah. Uh, I mean, the Crystal Maiden and the pudge have done good for, like, what they've had in front of them, but... I don't know. I think with, with those heroes, they've done they've done okay. Yeah, um, yeah. But I don't think, I don't think they were the heroes to pick, maybe. Yeah, I think this sure. is just purely a draft yeah. issue, not really execution, and the reason why they're losing. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it looks like he's going to get on on the top yeah. lane. Webster. So they have the Yules. They have the stun. They have what you're doing is right. physically now impossible. You're just showing off. Bad enough for you.
Get to hook on the quinks as well. They're actually, are they going to be able to burst him down? They are going to be able to get him down. Well done. Pudge oh, goes down as well. Uh, Pawnee gets a double dream coil. They don't have Chrono to follow it up at the moment. Bilston's still yeah. that man up. Has three seconds before he has rage. I think they should just be happy with this one kill and just hang back sure. a bit. Well, he, he's definitely the, the biggest tower pusher. The yeah. Lena can do a little bit. I mean, it's Lena uh, hitting 310s on the easy with, with the crit as well has a shivers now they can't even destroy that sentry ward <laughs> it's right in front of them they can't destroy it because they're too afraid of this lena oh my goodness what a monster just man just savage the whole game that lena just like finding whoever's low and well Ugh. Dyer's top tower has fallen. I think just a, a, wo a well-rounded draft from Radiant, definitely. Like, I think her talents are just too good. Like, 150 attack range at level 20, and then her level 25 is insanely good as well. Yeah. Death and gold are linked. Well, get some heroes where it's just you know you get like plus 10 intelligence on like earth spirit or something you know yeah. like what what do i do with this and then you get yeah. other heroes that have incredible incredible talents just stupidly strong talents like you're suddenly like mega strong comparatively yeah, yeah. they complement your heroes so well and i give it a lot more like, diver have a little bit more freaking mana pool i don't know but, like, but, but look at the options alina money. 80 light strike array damage fucking good or 125 cast range like awesome it's like you can really build like two different ways with that mm. um and then 30 respawn minus 30 second respawn time and 50 damage once oh, again that's so insanely well. good 150 attack range oh, or six percent he's, he's pinged out they do bkb ah. yolo hook doesn't seem to get him clinks just runs away so yeah like th they've been smoking at good times but they haven't been able to pick up anything really worth out of most of them feels bad man See the net worth of Lena at the moment? It's, it's wild. Yeah. A prize. Silence. Ha! Greetings. They're punching it a nice, another nice hook off here. Aye. Dyer's top barracks has fallen. Has the Aegis as well, so. Oh, they go straight onto the. You kill the equivalent of the Imac. No, he does not. Bilston runs up onto the Lena, is able to take it down the first time, has the Aegis. Real Fresh Prince gets off a really good ulti, but um, does go down for the cause. Bilston has rage in four seconds, then he might end up just gonna go down, it seems. Puck gets insta hexed. Will has the chrono, doesn't oh, get the Lena, I could have sworn she was in there. They do take her down though, Clinks is there, if he can start smacking that lad. He, oh, and a ravage of all ravages from the next there. He does keep no, going Will. though. Is he going to time dilate? No, he's going to kind of hang around, he's going to go for the Clinks. He's not using his time walk, he's using it in weird ways. Time dilate, Clinks. They also just missed three attacks in a row on that Ogre. Oh no, William. William kills Brest. Two down. William gets out. Life still bites back. It's all or nothing. Yeah, I, I don't think there's much need of a buyback there. The push is over. Mm. So yeah, this scythe pick up on Clanks, man. It's hurtful. Just shut down that Double puck really damage. hard. Also, yeah, excellent against the life stealer. Before you can get anything off, you can probably drop half his life. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. This Nyx is playing really, really well too. Yeah. Quick sprint. Ogre and uh, SB have sort of dropped off on the relevance, but Ogre's bot loss is still very good, and his mm. solo crest is still doing work, I guess. 
Mm. Roshan spawns in 1 minute 20. Thank you, timer. Oh, look at technology these days, eh? Yep. I'm time to be alive. <laughs> Clinks is on the hunt once again. Has the bloodlust. He's going for the butterfly now. Eyeing off the last racks. He, he, oh no, they don't have any creeps there. Otherwise, he might just kind of back, backdoor it. So dirty. He gets another good hook on the flank. Does BKB before he gets the dismember off, but uh, they are controlling him up a little bit. Puck is about to go down. Waiting for the chrono. Oh, really good chrono against the three of them. Has the Manta, starts smacking him down. Oh, he does get stunned, otherwise he probably could have killed the clinks there, I feel. Real Fresh Prince gets off a pretty alright. Oh, he gets smacked. Burns, does oh, Will. Uh, I, I, I sense frustration oh, from Will. You know what I mean? Like he's just kind of going in. Yeah, I think he's, he's he really wants to chase, but the rest of the team just wants to just chill for a bit. Oh, we get the Lena this time. She does have 21 bloodstone charges, so she probably ends the spawn, but she just full stuffs away and just starts smacking. Bilston gets into prawn. Dyer's middle prawn is under attack. Uh, Bilson decides I'll stuff you if you're not going to do Dyer's anything. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We're on head. Dyer's middle tower is under going to get out, it seems. Oh, he's living life on the edge, but the Megas are inbound. The Clinks just doesn't stop with the onslaught. Thanks. Oh, there's the Hex. Oh, that's actually pretty impressive. Chomp, chomp. Nothing. Bilson's giving up. He, he's, he's happy. I mean, he's not happy, but he's he's content Dyer's with the loss bottom now. Barracks has fallen. Death and good are linked. China number one. <laughs> now the banter comes out. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna jump up a channel, man. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, man. User left your channel. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's ancient is under attack. Wicked. Oh, disgusting. Dyer's ancient Time. is under attack. I don't know why I'm watching this. Oh. Monster kill. Oh, Double kill. Is, is some BM happening here. Well, that ends there. Tier 6 battle. Southeast Asia battle cup run. Uh, they, they fought valiantly. But, um, yeah, didn't quite work out for the Rascals. Eliminated in the semi-finals.